even the most perfect reproduction, one thing is lacking, the here and the now of the work of art, its unique existence in a particular place. It is this unique existence, and nothing else, that bears the mark of the history to which the work has been subject. The clock over the school playground seems as if damaged on his account. The hand stands at, late, and in the corridor, from classroom doors as he passes, come murmurs of conspiracy. Violating the peaceful hour, he opens the door. The teacher's voice clatters like a mill wheel. He stands before the grinding stones. The voice clatters on without a break, but the mill hands now shake off their load to the newcomer. Once arrived at his seat, he works quietly with the rest until the bell sounds, but it avails him nothing.